Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to go over what is Magento. I'm actually going to give you a quick overview of Magento and I'm going to show you how Magento works and what it does. Magento is actually an e-commerce solution that lets you build your own online store. Uh, the software is very professional it's actually used by very uh, large companies. For example, Nike uses it, Rosetta Stone, Easton and many others. There are actually three uh, solutions that Magento offers. Amongst these solutions is the Enterprise Edition, the Community Edition, and the Magento Go Edition. The Enterprise Edition is actually uh, quite expensive and it's mainly used by uh, large businesses. Uh, the reason it's so expensive is uh, due to the support that Magento gives you. As for Community Edition, it comes with no support and it's 100% free to use and if you decide to uh, uh, use the software all you really need is a hosting account and uh, you need to have it installed and figure out how to use it and that's that you actually pay no commission or anything like that for using the software uh, I actually have many videos on YouTube on how to use uh, the software the community edition and I also have uh, written tutorials on creating a webstore.com as for Magento Go, Magento Go is a hosted uh, solution it's uh, similar to uh, Magento Community Edition and uh, the only difference is that Magento actually hosts uh, the store for you. Now I'm going to show you exactly what Magento looks like and what you can expect from it. When you first install Magento you will have an empty store because there will be nothing in it. You will need to list items. The home page you will also need to customize. This store right here I customized it. I added products to the store and I fixed up the home page. Again, I have videos on how to do this. As you can see, you will have categories, and these categories can have subcategories. And when you click on them, you will see the category page. And these category pages are actually very high tech. You can even choose the view position. For example, you can choose between grid and list. There are even sort options. You can even choose how many listings are shown on each page. There's even a way to track recently viewed products. There are community polls that you can add, newsletters, popular tags, and so much more. There are also different ways that you can list products. For example, this right here, this is a simple product. These simple products can have attributes. You actually add these attributes yourself. You decide which attributes are added. You can upsell products. You can show related products, and you can even cross-sell products once they are added to the shopping cart. Then you can also sell items in groups, such as this one. For example, you can add three items to one listing, and then you can show them all to your customers, which is a great way to get your customers to buy more than one item. Then there's something that they call a configurable product such as this one. For example, people can choose a size. Or they can choose a size and color. There are also bundled products. For example, such as this one, where you can offer different add-on options and warranties. You can even sell virtual products, in other words, items that do not ship. And you can sell downloads, for example, you can sell music or movies or software. There's also a way to set up your store for wholesale discounts. For example, you can offer your wholesale customers different prices than you do to retail customers. There's also tiered pricing, such as on this item that we looked at earlier. For example, you can offer your customers discounts if they buy the items in lots. The software is also user friendly and search engine friendly. As far as users are concerned, customers can add their items to wish lists, they can compare items. When adding items to their cart, they can estimate shipping and tax right then and there. They can check out with multiple addresses. They can add discount codes if you offer them. They can check out as a guest or they can register. And most importantly, all checkout pages are secure. That is, of course, if you have an SSL certificate installed. 
As for search engine friendliness, all pages use URL rewrites. There are also heading tags such as H1 tags, H2 tags, meta description tags, keyword tags, robot tags. There's so much. Truthfully, there's a lot more than I can tell you about Magento, but that would take hours. So now let me show you the admin panel and give you a quick overview of that. This is where we log in and these login credentials are actually created when you uh, install Magento for the first time. This right here is the actual admin panel. This is where your orders show up. This is where you uh, configure Magento. This is where you have your reports. For example, you can look at sales, shopping cart, and so much more. CMS, this is where you set up your pages. For example, the home page, this is where it's designed. You simply go to CMS and pages. And you can actually design it right here. Then you have your newsletters, promotions. For example, you can create promotions for your entire store, like a 50% off discount. Or you can set up discounts for a particular category. This is where you also set up your uh, coupon codes customers this is where you manage your customers and customer groups for example if you have a wholesale customer group this is where you go in and change the group of the customer for example from retail to wholesale mobile you can actually create mobile apps and catalog this is where you can actually list products you go to add product and then choose the type of product that you want to list and list it right here again there's a lot that I can cover but I'd rather show you how to do things with Magento so why don't you take a look at my other videos and look at how I installed Magento, how I listed products, how I created attributes, and how I did so many other things. To start, there's actually a link in the description of this video that will take you to my site, creatingawebstore.com. And there you will see all the tutorials that I put together on Magento. So thanks for watching and see you next time.